And I'm Morgan Wolf. Old man winter just doesn't want to go on vacation. There are still several, several fire trucks here right now as crews are continuing to work on taking down the hot spots at this home. The snow is starting to pile on. We'll give you a look here. We're at about two inches right now in Janesville. Madison police arrested a Verona man after they say he sent threatening messages and a picture of a handgun to his ex-girlfriend. Very loud and very shocking to people. What have you heard? Very, very powerful. I had a man tell me that he was at home and all of a sudden it was such a big boom that it knocked off picture frames off of shelves in his home. The police just asked us to move back because they are concerned about our safety here. Now there's the SWAT team and about six to seven other squat cars here right now. The study found from 1989 to 2014, retail on State Street decreased 30%. As for bars and restaurants, well, they more than doubled. The city also says something else that's increased is the cost of rent. If you're just joining in right now, there's a homicide investigation happening in Stoughton off of Phelan Street. A 46-year-old man was found dead inside a home. They got hit so hard that let me show you this stuff over here. This is part of their roof that flew off. This time of the year, it feels like winter is kind of like that annoying younger sibling. You know what I mean? <laughs> it just won't go yeah. away. And I don't know, you guys, this this is pretty tempting. So if you don't see me back in the newsroom, you'll know where to find me. <laughs> Do you ever find yourself taking multiple photos or videos until you get that perfect one that you want to post to Instagram? Well, doctors say that's a hidden form of anxiety and it's affecting more than just teens. The National Weather Service says that they can quickly determine whether a tornado touched down or not by the looks of things like this fence here. I saw two cars being towed away. One of them came from Odana Road over here. Check out these tire marks. You can see it leads straight up into this tree where we have some debris down here. This looks like it might have been a bad little slide off. While well, some of us look at this snow in April as a chore, other people are finding ways to enjoy it. Bringing some extra thrill to Super Bowl 52 festivities. Woo! The once prominent sports doctor Larry Nasser has been sent to prison, but the investigation into how Nasser was able to victimize so many young women is just beginning. Some of the money has gone to a fountain here that is set to be finished by this summer. Some of the other money has gone to things like a floating dock that is down here on the riverfront that a man is in custody and a woman was taken to the hospital earlier tonight after a shooting happened on Park Avenue. Now we have Chief here first off with us. Now, Chief, can you give us any more information on exactly what you've learned within the past few hours? Uh, All right, Chief. Well, thank you so much. And thank you for the work that you and the Dane County Sheriff's Office have been doing tonight. So that's about the update that we have for you guys right now. Again, this is a married couple that we just learned and they both are at the hospital right now. You know, you kind of used your tough time to help other people that had a tough time with Harvey. How has this year been for you? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a very difficult year for me on the field. Um, never want to break my leg. You're up but... for kind of a big award. How does it feel to be nominated for that? What, what is your mindset right now? Oh, it's extremely, you know, humbling. Pull-ups and air squats. Okay, um, I can't do pull-ups, so 14 pounds I'm wearing right now. But you got it. Okay, this. here we go. All right, give me a few. Room. Alrighty. <laughs> And clap. NBC 15's Morgan Wolf has been following this story since that explosion. She's live at the scene right now. Morgan, wow, some big revelations were made today in this investigation. Cyra, you know, this is really a type of crime that you would expect to see in a movie or a TV show. Not something that anyone would guess would happen in a friendly neighborhood like Ice Age Falls here in Madison. Police revealed some chilling new details, how a man killed his wife and tried to cover it up. We can conclude, yes, in fact, that a crime was committed. Finally, some answers on a home explosion that has shook Madison. Stephen Prius killed his wife and then attempted to cover it up. Madison Police and Fire Department say 59-year-old Stephen Price shot and killed his wife Leanne weeks, possibly months ago, according to a medical examiner's findings. Officials say Stephen admitted to intentionally blowing up his home. By doing something so reckless as he did, he not only attempted to cover up a deliberate intentional homicide, but he also obviously put 
innocent third parties at risk. He's in custody for first degree intentional homicide, reckless endangerment and arson. Police say there's no record of Liam Pyrus even being reported missing. Officials say they do not know the motive behind Stephen killing his wife and blowing up his home, but they are following all possible leads, such as financial issues that court documents reveal date back to 2010 for the couple. What we're still trying to do is sort of backtrack and look at what this relationship was or was it was or what it wasn't as the case may be. And finally, how did we get to the point where we're at here today? Now, portions of Stratton Way are still a little bit blocked off. As you can see now that these gates are up, blocking off the property. Officials are asking the public to please respect that and to not interfere with this investigation as they move forward. Another note that High Point Road has reopened. Live in Madison, Morgan Wolf, NBC 15 News. It's a her. Mirabella Belton. Her name is Snowball. Is home safe cuddling her cat Snowball after a real snowball yeah. hit her dad driving. So it was terrifying. Um, you know, uh, you're driving 55 and this happens. Mike Belton was driving on Highway 33 when a chunk of snow covering ice flew off a car coming the other direction. Less than a second it was sitting in our lap. And crashed through his windshield. The ice was large enough that it went from the bumper all the way up. There's actually uh, a piece of the front end wound up coming in through the windshield that wound up in the passenger seat. Since I know that these are built really well, you know, it's really shocking to see just how much damage a piece of ice can do to a, to a vehicle. And there's still uh, a big, nice big chunk of ice uh, all through here. So this is what, uh, this is what hit my daughter. And um, uh, she took some, some minor cuts to the face, but a good old Wisconsin girl, tough. Seven-year-old Mirabella is doing fine despite some cuts. Some facial wounds and uh, a little bit of a broken spirit. As but Mike says, they lucked out. About two months old, has less than 5,000 miles on Even it. Even though. It's basically brand new. Some bad luck hit his new SUV. It'll all be fine if it were January, but in April it's a bit too much. He hopes the only <laughs> snowballs left in April look like this one. More importantly, he hopes that others learn from what happened. Hopefully, if anybody sees this, they think about the fact that, you know, you should try and try and clean your car off as much as you can before you go out on the public roads. My happy place. A stroke of a key. With a voice that follows in song. This is Caitlin Vecker's Bliss. Playing music is a talent that she almost lost. I remember when it was a big deal if I smiled. It's like waking up from a horrible nightmare, except that it's reality. Caitlin's dad, Eugene, got a call January 7th, 2016, a call that every parent fears. It was just disbelief. Caitlin was driving down County Highway 11 to get her sister in Janesville when she glanced down for a second. And I was just going to, you know, change the song. While her eyes were on her phone, Caitlin smashed into a tractor driving ahead of her. They had never seen somebody in the condition that I was in after my accident survive at all. She was diagnosed with a traumatic brain injury, which resulted in surgery, removing a portion of her brain. It was very, a very dark, unknown time. Not knowing whether Caitlin would ever be the same, her family prayed. Then one day... Those were the first notes that we heard after her accident. Before she could walk again, Caitlin played this song on a keyboard sitting in her hospital bed. We'll never forget the joy, the hope that that gave us to hear the music was still in her. And, mm. Life flowed back into Caitlin as she slowly began to recover. When we first got the signs, when she first recognized the family, it was... Um, <laughs> A moment Eugene struggles to relive. The struggles and pain her family has endured is why Caitlin wants to share her story in hopes that others will learn from it and not drive distracted. That one second will forever change your life or even, God forbid, take somebody else's. 
The pain is still there, but laughs and positivity have become the new song that guides her forward. <laughs> Hopeful that her tune will echo for others to hear. Can we keep playing? Because I can do it again. <laughs> I'm here all night, folks. <laughs>